Hi, I'm Jen for a Moms and Dads Only message from Excellence in Orthodontics. In 1936, Dale Carnegie's world-famous best-selling book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, was first published. It remains a perennial best-selling book year after year today. Nearly three-fourths of the Fortune 500 corporations have CEOs or highly placed executives who have graduated from the Dale Carnegie program. And many of these companies encourage all their executives to go through the program. Globally, it is the most popular and respected training organization for communication, persuasion, leadership, and confidence. If you read or reread the original book, you will find one of the key pieces of advice is to develop and present a winning smile. Their research and other abundant research proves that a person with a winning smile is more easily and quickly accepted by others and is more listened to and even more trusted. This affects every life situation from college admission and job interviews to simply making friends and getting along in the world. This important advantage in life is taken away from the person who does not get the expert orthodontic treatment they need for that perfect smile. It's never too late, and about 20% of the patients in excellence in orthodontics offices are adults, making the choice to change their crooked teeth for the best smile possible, for cosmetic appearance or for health concerns. But it is best to take care of the proper alignment for a winning smile when young. In this brief video, we'll think through the true importance of the smile and give you some information about what to expect from expert orthodontic treatment for your daughter or son. One famous smile has fascinated us for centuries, that of Mona Lisa. In her great book, Fascinate, Sally Hogshead reports on recent analysis of the painting using cutting edge software developed to recognize facial emotion. This sort of software is used by the FBI and other law enforcement and security agencies. It dissects the Mona Lisa smile as 83% happy, 9% disgusted, 6% fearful, and 2% angry. The effect is intrigue. So much so that tens of thousands go each year to look at the painting in Paris and a cottage industry of merchandise bearing the image has global reach. This, Sally says, speaks to the importance and impact of the smile. The evolution of our smile is also interesting. Research done at the Department of Linguistics at the University of California, Berkeley, reveals that it was not originally about giving visual cues to others, but about sound and the way our voices sound when smiling or when not smiling because the smile affects high and low tone of the voice. The smile started as a way to sound less threatening and more approachable. Not a visual cue, but an audio cue. According to the seminal research paper on this, the acoustic origin of the smile, when we smile, we pull back cheek flesh against our teeth, make our mouth cavity smaller and our voice higher, politer, friendlier, and more positive. Today, the smile, or lack of it, creates both audio and visual cues, and other people respond accordingly, automatically. Not smiling, hiding your smile, doesn't just turn people off, it warns them off. If your daughter or son is deprived of the innate natural use of smile as cues to others, they are handicapped and at disadvantage, just as they might be by any other handicap. Here is some data gathered from the nonprofit confidencecoalition.org, founded by the Kappa Delta sorority from the news organizations and from the American Medical Association. 90% of all girls want to change at least one part of their physical appearance. A girl is bullied every seven seconds at school. One out of every four college age women have an eating disorder. Only 2% of women think of themselves as attractive. Isn't this remarkable? Well, it isn't just girls. From other research, we found that 70% of boys say some aspect of their personal appearance is constantly made fun of or criticized by others. I know you do not want to be the mom or dad of the embarrassed teen hiding in his or her bedroom, maybe skipping the prom or some other event and insisting they just don't wanna go, avoiding social activities, but 
never telling you why. Going to high school with crooked teeth and a poor smile is one thing. Going on to college admission and job interviews is another. Looking in the mirror at a bad smile on the day of prom is bad. But seeing that smile in the mirror on the day she is delivering her big first presentation to her company's board or at a conference is another. Again, she says, I'll just stay at home. But what is she really saying? Suicide has jumped by 24% in America in the last decade. One of the two top categories of that growth is preteen, teen, and college age young people. A driving force is the explosive expansion of shaming done on social media. It isn't just a few mean girls pointing and giggling in the hallway anymore. It's mean girls messaging to everyone in the school. Naturally, you think a thing like teen suicide happens only in other people's families, but that's exactly what those parents thought. You can assure that your daughter or son can face life with confidence. Proper orthodontic treatment can make that happen. So I'd like you to meet and briefly hear from the founder of Excellence in Orthodontics on this subject. Dr. Dustin Burleson is pretty special. In his hometown of Kansas City, he has five orthodontic offices providing state-of-the-art care to over 2,000 patients a year. And he also teaches orthodontics at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, how to be better orthodontists, and pediatric dentists at Children's Mercy Hospital. Through professional training and coaching programs, Dr. Burleson has influenced and worked with 1,941 orthodontists in 23 countries. If anybody knows excellence in this field, it's Dr. Burleson. He has personally selected your excellence in orthodontics doctor in your area. He is also the author of several consumer and patient education books, including Stop Hiding Your Smile and The Consumer's Guide to Invisalign. What exactly does a top orthodontist do? I mean, do you just slap on braces? Well, it's a lot more than that, actually. So uh, an expert orthodontic exam involves uh, looking at a whole lot more things than probably most parents would consider. Depending on a child's age and needs, we may be working with space maintainers to help permanent teeth grow into alignment, or retainers to prevent crowding, or even habit appliances to prevent thumb sucking, or nighttime teeth grinding. Often there's a customized appliance designed specifically for the patient. We also use soft tissue laser treatments for optimal gum tissue aesthetics. We even deal with jaw alignment. Your child may only need an appliance or only need braces or need a different treatment. Our job is to help develop and mold young kids into a future self that has more confidence and, and really a tooth and jaw alignment that matches their facial appearance. So it's a lot more than just braces. We work with developing young kids' faces and really their self-esteem and confidence as well. Why an orthodontic exam early and periodically? It can be easy for the parent to overlook or downplay irregularities in their child's smile. Uh, things parents don't consider, um, nighttime mouth breathing, uh, thumb sucking, airway problems, problems with their growth and development where a parent might think that the crooked teeth is kind of cute in their kid or they've actually seen maybe other kids on the softball team or baseball team. After all, every child is beautiful or handsome in their parents' eyes, sort of like Garrison Keller's famous Lake Wobegon where all the children are above average. Your orthodontist has objectivity. He can objectively assess present or predictable developing problems and advise you about them factually. We recommend pediatric orthodontic exams as early as age seven. Preteen and teen exams and definitely exam at the earliest signs that something may not be right. Is a great smile just a cosmetic issue? What if a parent feels that, quote, looks aren't everything and thinks their kids should be tough-minded about it and just not be overly sensitive? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. There are physical health and emotional health issues directly related to having a straight, correct, proper smile. Let's face it though, kids can be cruel. From elementary school on, kids look for excuses to humiliate or ostracize the kid who, quote, looks funny. Kids may not talk to their parents about this either for fear of being embarrassed at home or, frankly, being told to just toughen up. Bullying is a very real thing, harmful, even dangerous, now made far, far worse than when we were kids by social media online. Most teen suicides leave shocked and bewildered parents behind. Many are caused by bullying. The kid with buck teeth, an overbite, gaps, teeth misaligned enough that keeping them clean and bad breath is a problem? Well, he or she can become a target and the harassment can be relentless. This can carry forward into adult life in terms of physical health 
Anything and everything that interferes with good oral hygiene can raise risk of or worsen diabetes, heart disease, and cancer in adults. And so it's a really serious issue that I think a lot of parents don't consider past just dental health is the underlying emotional health of our patient. And while it's almost never too late for an expert, highly skilled orthodontist to correct alignment problems in adult life, the later that effort occurs, typically the harder and costlier it is. Poorly aligned teeth can also produce chronic headaches and migraines, contribute to poor digestion because of inadequate chewing of food, make getting a good night's sleep difficult, and more. This needs to be taken seriously. So to toughen up, that's one thing, but they have to, they have to think about their health and the psychology that goes behind having a great smile and having good teeth, basically. Um, how can parents now get information on their own? Uh, the website braces.org, it's by the American Association of Orthodontists, has a wealth of articles and information. Our website, excellenceinorthodontics.org, also has a bank of carefully selected or prepared articles, not just about orthodontic care, but about bullying, teen suicide, self-image psychology, getting good grades, parenting, and much more. The Excellence in Orthodontics member doctor in your area will also have a website. There's a directory of all Excellence in Orthodontic doctors with links to their sites at our site as well. Why do kids need braces? Malocclusion, meaning teeth that are crooked or crowded, is often an inherited condition. It's in the genes, just like any number of other problems can be. And your kids didn't get to pick out their parents out of a catalog that included Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie or Barbie and Ken. If you wanna have a family history of this, you should make a special point of getting your children into the Excellence in Orthodontics member doctor in your area early for exams and preemptive treatment if needed. But hereditary is certainly not the only cause. Orthodontic problems can come from something as simple as early loss of primary teeth or chronic thumb sucking, an accident. This does not mean a child needs or will need braces. By getting your child to the orthodontist early, you may be saving them from years of embarrassing issues associated with their smile, and you may reduce or prevent need for more aggressive, difficult, and costly treatments later. You said exams can start as early as seven years old if not beforehand, yeah. to kind of see how teeth are growing, coming in, you kind of know what's gonna happen in the future. Oh, it kind of shocks most parents because I think we all had braces back in the 80s. We had them when we were teenagers, right. which usually involved removing teeth and wearing big, ugly metal braces, right? right. With today's technology. And getting poked out they, and the wax. Yeah, yeah, and the headgear and all the fun stuff. <laughs> uh, today's technology, if we detect problems earlier and we can help prevent issues from becoming larger and more costly mistakes later. It's really important for parents to bring their kid to the orthodontist at the right time. You know, it's interesting just sitting here with you and we're talking, you carry so much passion when you're talking about what you do. And it's a subject that some people might find, you know, hard to find extreme passion for. We're talking about teeth. And people don't go home and rush to their family and talk about the orthodontist. This is not a common right. thing, right? Why did you become an orthodontist? And also, you also created uh, the national organization Excellence in Orthodontics. So why should a patient or a parent care about that? So I, I grew up with horribly crooked teeth. And through all of my high school years and college years, even in the dental school, I was embarrassed on my smile. I mean, if we should show some before and afters, actually, and you would be shocked. Mm -hmm. um, my mom was a school teacher. My dad was a small business owner. And money was often tight. To, to think back then, if you told me that one day I'd not only be an orthodontist doing things that have actually changed my life, but speaking on stage in front of thousands of business owners and teaching orthodontists around the world, I would have told you you were crazy, right? And I would have laughed probably while hiding my smile with my hand. Um, this is why I'm so passionate about orthodontics. I know what a life-changing thing that correcting my smile was for me. I know how important this is. I believe a person is either smiling with confidence or hiding themselves. Their free expression of their ideas their potential, and their private emotional pain, one or the other. As to the organization, it's a way to make this mission a lot bigger than my own practices in Kansas City. By partnering with great orthodontists nationwide who feel about what we do as I do, and who are committed to the idea of transforming lives and freeing young people to achieve their full potential, I believe we're doing something profoundly important. Who knows where you would have been today if you didn't have that confidence that came from having great health along with having that great smile. So thank you so much, Doctor. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Burleson. The understanding of a person's self-image was greatly expanded and popularized by a man named Dr. Maxwell Maltz, a cosmetic surgeon who published his findings for the public in a groundbreaking book, Psycho-Cybernetics, in 1960.
The book has sold over 30 million copies worldwide and has, at different times, been embraced by professional athletes like the Green Bay Packers and top PGA golfers, actors and actresses, and business leaders. The simple facts of self-image success psychology are these. First, no one can ever outperform their own self-image. It regulates their personality, their behavior, and success like a set thermostat regulates temperature. Second, it is a closed loop. How a person thinks about herself and feels about herself regulates what she will and won't do, like being confident and self-assured or being timid and anxious, speaking up for herself and her ideas or being quiet and withdrawn, and being optimistic or pessimistic. Also, the person's true appearance. What they see when they look in the mirror loops around and affects how they feel and think about themselves. The smile is the focal point. People with crooked or misaligned teeth with a smile they don't like when they look in the mirror internalize it and mostly refrain from showing their smile, making them self-conscious, anxious and timid, and having others judge them unfairly as dour or unfriendly. Together, we are going to ensure that your daughter or son has the healthy, appealing smile essential for self-confidence and that prevents unfair, harsh judgment by others because of a poor smile. How does this process work? At the first appointment, you and your daughter or son will probably view a brief video previewing the success process and the kinds of results you should expect. Then a treatment coordinator meets with your daughter or son and you in a comfortable private consulting room for the initial consultation. The coordinator wants to hear from you about your goals for treatment and your concerns. Important information is obtained for the doctor. For example, whether there is current pain or discomfort, difficulty with hygiene, the state of your daughter's or son's smile, appearance concerns and desires. Then x-rays will be taken for the doctor's use in accurate assessment of present and future problems and treatment needed. These digital x-rays are available immediately for viewing with a doctor. They are safe and quick and easy. There's no need to hold uncomfortable rubber blocks in the mouth or to bite down on instruments. Digital x-rays also mean 90% less radiation than conventional x-rays. At the same time, the doctor reviews the x-rays with you and your daughter or son. He will perform a complete orthodontic examination, examining the teeth, bite, chewing motion, swallow, jaw movement, and more. This is where experience and expertise really matters because as much as orthodontics must be a high-tech science, it is still also an art. Your excellence in orthodontics member doctor uses the most complete and careful examination regimen there is and takes the time to get it right and to fully explain his findings and recommendations. Finally, the treatment coordinator will complete the explanation of your recommended treatment options and make scheduling and financial arrangements and welcome you to the family. This process requires about 60 to 90 minutes in the office, so when you make your initial appointment, please plan accordingly. We take this much time with you because it is important. It's not like picking out a smartphone. They can be exchanged and we tend to get new ones every couple of years. This is something that the patient has for life and that affects her or his life going forward in many ways, and there are no do-overs. It has to be absolutely right the first time. Mistakes can be made, and you want to avoid them. You can depend on your excellence in orthodontics certified doctor for the highest level of care guaranteed. Orthodontic problems can get worse if left untreated. It can also make treatment costlier than it needs to be. You don't want to delay this. Earlier, I referenced Dale Carnegie and the power of a winning smile in a person's career or business life, not just personal and social life. The fact is, having a great smile or having one you're embarrassed by either positively or negatively affects your self-image and self-confidence and also affects career or business success and lifetime potential earnings in the same way that having a college education and attending a top college can. When you consider which college you want for your son or daughter to attend, finding the lowest and cheapest price is probably not first or primary concern. 
Frankly, it shouldn't be when it comes to their personal appearance and their self-confidence either. So as the last item, let's talk a little bit about the investment you can expect. Excellence in orthodontics doctors understand and respect the cost of raising a safe, healthy, smart, and self-confident child or teen. Many are doing so themselves. Their entire approach is based on how would I treat the daughter or son of my closest and dearest friend? That includes fair, reasonable, and fully transparent fees, all-inclusive fees, and convenient financing if needed. But it also includes not compromising or sacrificing or taking shortcuts just to shave a bit off the price. Were you to shop around, you would most likely find a number of orthodontists offering what seems to be the same treatment options, even named the same or from the same manufacturer. Still, all treatment is not the same. Not all orthodontic prices or practices approach creating the ideal smile in the same way. As a somewhat limited but still useful analogy, consider bringing someone in to paint the exterior or interior of your home. You might say, paint is paint, and to a great degree, that's true. And you might find several different painting contractors all using the very same paint, yet creating different results and requiring different prices for the same project. In choosing one over the others, you might likely consider any number of factors, including their reputation and what their clients have to say about them, before and after pictures of their work, their experience, their guarantees, and your assessment of their sincere interest in what they do. Are they really interested in creating the most beautiful, most perfect look for your home? Or just about getting paint on the walls and as quickly as possible? You'll probably even be rightfully suspicious of anyone offering too cheap of a price. You know they'll be under pressure to make shortcuts and compromising along the way. You will judge their attitude in their conversations with you. You won't say to yourself, well, paint is paint. They're all using the same paints and they're doing the same thing, putting paint on the walls. So, hey, what's the difference? You know there's a difference. Here we are talking about something considerably more important and more technically complex than just slapping some paint on the walls. It may sound a bit corny, but excellence in orthodontics members do not think of themselves just as technicians, like a mechanic or like a painter. They are about transforming lives, not just aligning teeth for a winning smile and a lifelong optimum dental health, but supporting a winning personality and a confident attitude. This is a very special X factor you will appreciate. There aren't a lot of guarantees in life. You've probably seen the TV ads where a father is talking about the family's financial advisor with his young son. The son asks, do you get your money back if you're not happy? Dad says, nah, it doesn't work that way. The son says, maybe it should. We agree. Why not? Traditionally, there have been no guarantees in healthcare. You pay your money, you take your chances. But our excellence in orthodontics member doctors are very sure of their ability to provide the ideal smile, dental health, and patient experience that you are thrilled with. And that is what you are guaranteed. If you're not satisfied with your daughter or son's or your new smile or with your experience as a patient, you simply say so and your entire investment is refunded. We think that's how it should work. Further, the quality of orthodontic work is guaranteed for life. If ever the proper teeth alignment originally achieved somehow begins to fail, something that is very rare, your excellence in orthodontics member doctor will welcome you back and do all that can be done to correct the problem. If your daughter or son ever requires orthodontic treatment again, even if the teeth shift because, you know, retainers aren't worn as directed, the needed retreatment is provided at no charge. Every parent strives to be the best possible parent. We're here to assist you in that. Imagine being quietly embarrassed, even ashamed of your smile every day, not smiling, hiding it, feeling that everybody notices it and feels sorry for you or judges you in a harsh way, as kids often do. Days, weeks, months, maybe years. Then imagine waking up one morning, looking into the mirror, and now liking the way you smile. 
That is the incredible gift you are now going to bring your daughter or son.